Hello guys, welcome to Tech Tricks Tutorial. In today's video, I will show you how to make fillable PDF forms on Canva. So let's get started. First, click Create a Design at the top right here. Now, you can choose either Doc, Document A4 Portrait, Document, Resume, it's up to you. You can also choose Custom Size down here. But well, for this example, I am going to be choosing Document A4 Portrait. So once you're here, you can head over to Templates at the left-hand side and you can choose from one of these. There's plenty of options, so just choose which one you want to use. For example, I am going to use this one right here. So I'm just going to click on it. Now let's zoom in a bit so that we can see it better. Then we can start. So if your template doesn't have these lines already, then there's an option to add them. But now you can start editing your template of course. Let's head over to Elements. Then let's head over to Square. Then I'm just going to choose this shape right here. And then I'm just going to adjust it. I'm going to move it right here. And basically what I'm doing is I am adding a checkbox. Because not only can we make our document fillable with words, we can also add checkboxes. So now I'm just going to copy this. And paste another one right here. Then adjust it. And there we go. So yeah, just do your own thing. This is just going to be my example here. Like I said, if your document doesn't already have these lines here, then you can add them yourself as well as these checkboxes. But once you're done, head over to share. Then click on download. Now select the file type. Make sure you select PDF standard. Then hit download. Now let's just wait for it to finish downloading. It'll automatically open up another tab once it's done. And as you can see here, our current document is unfillable. Now what you want to do in order to make your document fillable is you want to head over to this website called DocHub. Just type in DocHub.com If you're new to this website, uh, you're not going to be on this screen right away. You're going to have to sign up first. So just go ahead and do that. There's a few options on how you can sign in. You can use your Google account as well so it's faster. Once you're here, click on Import a Document. Now click on Select Files. Now find the PDF file that you just saved from Canva. Now just wait for it. Once it says ready, you can go ahead and click on create document at the bottom right here. As you can see, our document is obviously not fillable yet. So first you need to click on manage fields right here next to page controls. Once you've clicked on it, you'll be given a bunch of options here. You can add a text field, paragraph field, and a checkbox. So I'm going to start with the checkbox field. For example, I'm going to put it uh, right here. Now I'm just going to adjust it. Hold on, I kind of messed it up here. Now 
Okay, there we go. Now let's just adjust it. And it's still not that good. But you know what? That's fine. I'm going to add another one down here. I'll just leave it like that. Because this is just an example anyway. As you can see, the checkbox now works. So now once we're done with that, we can head over to text field. So and then we can start adding text. So I'm just going to adjust this. Again, it's kind of not aligned properly, but you know, like I said, it's just an example and obviously you can customize that yourself. Now just keep adding your text fields however you want. As you can see, these ones are aligned properly now. Now let's head over to paragraph field so you can see it as well, how it works. It's obviously bigger since it's for paragraphs. So let's just place it down, then make it bigger. And I think that's good. As you can see, these are fillable. So once you're done adding text fields and such, click this button at the top right corner. Now click on download and or export. Now make sure computer is selected and then document. Then just hit download. And as you can see, the document is now fillable. Everything works, the checkboxes, the text fields. As well as the paragraph fields at the bottom. But that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, please consider dropping a like and subscribing to the channel.